This is a continuous improvement movement reserved for the few with the grit to prove it. Everybody. Good morning. This is Maria and I am here with my co-host Calvin Williams and this is the Ticket to Freedom podcast where we discuss continuous improvement as it pertains to current events. Today, we are going to talk about an article just released by the Modern Restaurant Management Magazine titled Operational Excellence and the Value War. This is about how restaurants should focus on reducing costs through operational excellence instead of cutting value from the customer. Calvin, mm. what do you have to say to that? Yes, this is a age old paradigm in the management of any business, but I would imagine it's even more extreme in the restaurant business. Coming from food manufacturing, I could look at the PL and I can tell you the number one expense on the PL is going to be food or the product itself. The second expense is going to be labor. And then you've got, uh, you've got, you know, utilities and administration and things like that and, uh, and, and leadership and et cetera, overhead, et cetera. So um, if I'm a finance guy and I'm looking at the PL, I'm thinking, yeah, I need to, you know, I need to figure out how to cut food costs, right? Uh, that's going to be the area where I could probably drive the greatest margin improvement. But um, oftentimes cutting food costs translates to giving the customer either lower quality or lower volume of food or product. So, um, yeah, that could have the, the opposite effect that you're looking for, you know, once they catch on to, you know, they're being charged the same amount of money, but getting less for it, you know, it could, it could end up, uh, backfiring on the company. Mm -hmm. That's right. The restaurants this year, they're expected to grow at a rate at about 3.8%, which is on par to pre-pandemic levels. So you will think, you know, they're doing okay. They could be doing better. But then you hear that inflation is at 3.7%. So they are barely making it. What do you think about that? This is the way I think about that. So if the growth rate across the entire category, right, restaurants, whether it's fast food or fast casual or dine-in restaurants, et cetera, if the growth rate is expected at 3.8%, let's take that as, okay, that is what it is. Um, that's You can kind of smooth that across all of the, the entire category, you know, your business, your competitors and all the rest, right? So the question is, how can you potentially nab a bigger slice of the pie than your competition? So again, if you go back to my earlier example, where it's like, hey, you know, if my food cost is my biggest expense, uh, what am I going to do to reduce food cost? You take that and you say, all right, if everybody else is going after that, because that is kind of the, the conventional wisdom, Right. What you may do is say, let me not go after food costs, but let me actually figure out how to give the customers more for their money, right? And the other way to go to, to grow your margins, right, is to, of course, increase your top line, right? And the way you might be able to do that is by reducing costs in other ways, like operational ways, right? Become more efficient, become better at what you do, right? Figure out how to you know, staff a restaurant with six people instead of 10, figure out how to get the customer in and out of the line in less, less amount of time. Right. So if that translates to the customer as, oh, now I'm getting that uh, Chipotle salad bowl for, you know, 550 versus 850. Uh, the customer is going to feel like, oh, wow, I'm getting more for my money now, right? Because you're, you know, as a business, you're figuring out how to be more efficient in your operation. So um, you can either take some of those efficiency gains and, you know, put them in the, you know, charge them off as, as, as margin improvement, or you can pass some of those efficiency gains back to the customer so they feel they're getting more for their money. Meanwhile, your competitors are giving them less quality and less quantity for their money. So uh, when it's time for them to decide where they're going to have lunch the next day, uh, you're, you're a much more attractive option. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think you just hinted there that the current customer's tastes or expectations have changed. Nowadays, customer expects a lot 
from the restaurant experience, whether it is a fast food chain or a luxury brand, you know, a luxury restaurant, they expect good service, good engagement, good quality. And it sounds like considering the current challenges and the customer's expectations, the way to go for restaurant and other industries is to drive operational excellence. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that's our conclusion and all the conversations we've been having, operational, operational excellence is at the core of the company's future success. Absolutely. And, you know, as from, from a customer's point of view, you know, good quality, uh, good quantity, good portion sizes, good experience in and out of the restaurant. Those are all of that's what they're paying for. Right. They they perceive that as value. They're willing to put their dollars toward that. Right. But there are a lot of things that are happening in the business that could be considered straight up and down waste. Right. And you got to look at process waste, too. Right. The processes people use every day to do their jobs. And uh, the customer's not there to pay for process waste. And process waste translates into real dollars for uh, a restaurant's bottom line. So um, for for a restaurant or restaurant chain or fast casual chain to focus on operational excellence is a way of saying, hey, let's let's really take a, a scan of all of our processes and let's let's identify opportunities for improvement um, in the lean world. You know, the the, the definition of lean has has been you know, creating as much or more value for the customer, meanwhile, reducing waste in the process. Uh, if, you, if you could kind of kind of lay out those eight wastes and go through your business operations and see where, you know, where the opportunities for efficiency gains are, you know, those efficiencies translate into wider margins for you and potentially more value for the customer as well. So it's a win-win. Um, uh, on, on the other side of the coin, if you're just looking at reducing food quantities and reducing quality of the product, you know, that often turns into a, a lose-lose situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, with that said, that's very valuable information, Calvin. Thank you so much. Very actionable, too. Uh, thank you so much for listening. This is the Ticket to Freedom podcast. Follow us for more daily news on continuous improvement and operational excellence. And we'll see you all next week. Just in time, not a second slow. From the top floor to the shop floor, come on. Everybody, let's go.